Abhishek Acharya is a visual artist based in Thane, Maharashtra. He has done BFA painting and MFA portraiture from JJ School of Art, Maharashtra, and currently, he is pursuing a diploma in art education. He was also a studio assistant to world-renowned artist, Vasudev Kamath. Abhishek Acharya works with both abstractions as well as figures within the Hindu culture. His artworks are a complex blend of faith, aesthetics, and art that encompasses historical Indian traditions taken from scriptures and contemporary urbanity. It transcends beyond the stylistic ideological and chronological boundaries and navigates beyond past and present realities. His artworks are a fascinating mix of Hindu culture and symbolism, and contemporary aesthetics which are essentially meditative, assimilative, and mystical. Acharya uses figures and forms that give snippets from religious understandings of belief systems that are often ignored but carry a lot of depth and meaning to their existence. He uses bright and vibrant colors from yellows, reds, and golden to add mysticism and holiness to his artworks. Through different figures and symbols, be it the sun, that is shown as an omnipresent god, looking down at his creations or an ascetic who is immersed in reading and is absorbed with his surroundings in a meditative state, they all represent the artist's understanding of how he chooses to see the existence of divine in his life. While talking about his work, Acharya says, My subject matter tends to be those from fragmentary passages that reside within Indian scriptures or are in the Indian context with a blend of academics. These are the mundane, the in-between spaces of the texts that we see but often do not notice as it may seem to be inapplicable to present times. However, these contexts have always been universal. For me, these paintings are about the pleasure of seeing, observing, imagining, and then processing it into a new piece of artwork. I view each and every part of the artwork as being the whole artwork in itself. Hi, uh, I am Abhishek Acharya. Through the very small time span that I am invested in painting, I have realized that Creating an artwork or painting is a journey in itself. And I have very well realized that I have just started this journey taking inspirations from many legends, senior artists, my seniors, juniors and colleagues. I specifically remember I used to like and I like today even Hindustani classical music very much. Back then when I used to listen to Hindustani classical music, uh, somehow I came across Nirguni Bhajans by Pandit Kumar Gandharva. As soon as I listened to the Nirguni Bhajans sung by Pandit Kumar Gandharva, uh, I actually felt the nothingness, the emptiness, that Kabir Das Ji actually wanted to convey. Further, my interest and my inner connection grew with this subject and um, I came across many more mystics and their compositions. For example, uh, Mirabai, Goraknath, um, Rumi, Nisargadatta Maharaj, Jiddu Krishnamurti, Swami Chinmayananda and many more. While listening to all this, I actually felt that there is everything, yet there is nothing. Uh, the actual nothingness, the actual emptiness. However, through all this journey, uh, I am very much amazed, influenced uh, by Kabir Dasji. I don't know the specific reason why this connect but to be precise I think so I liked the way he is conveying the message, the actual context to a common uh, person like me. I find, find his uh, compositions very simple yet very complex at the same time. They are also very soft, 
yet sometimes very harsh at the time uh, for example here i'll um, mention maybe three uh, of his duas or compositions first of his composition is a very famous one i think so bura jo dekhne mein chala bura na mile koi jo dil kho ja apna to mujhse bura na koi precisely here he is saying uh, he is wandering all over to find out find out bad uh, but when he sits uh, self con- confined he fa- finds that no one is much more bad than himself second one says uh, guru gobind do- dono khade kaake na go pao balihari guru aapne gobind di jo mile in this doha he is saying uh i will bow down to guru first if guru and gobind both come together and the reason is i am able to so see gobind only due to my guru the last one is ram ram sab koi kahe dasharath kahe na koi ek bar jo dasharath kahe koti yagna phal hoye in this doha somewhat he is somewhere harsh uh, as well as soft i think uh, in this he is conveying that um, we generally take the divine name we chant daily but it is only through our mouth in second stanza he is saying that it is in yogic language where he is saying that if we chant his name the divine name with all 10 organs that is uh, five nyanendriyas and five karmendriyas uh, a single chant only a single chant with full dedication uh, will bring out the essence in life first of all i conceptualize the whole subject considering indian rasa theory uh, usually in this process i choose a dominant rasa in the subject uh, also parallelly i choose one or two subordinate rasa in the subject after this i uh, compose and focus on drawing the major element in the subject further i keep on adding subtracting and molding the forms in the uh, painting to actually depict the subject initially i follow academic uh, realism and in this process i start with a realist a realistic drawing however as i gradually move ahead in the painting i give more and more importance to the subject the feel and the mood of the painting and thus in my process i usually think self criticize before and after a painting session Uh, but when i paint i only paint when i am about to conclude uh, i start introducing many techniques where wherein i apply a uh, thick layers of paint and also sometimes i use very thin layers of paint uh, which automatically uh, brings me to a desired result where i want a soft mystic glow thus my technique all over is a mixture of some spontaneous strokes as well as some uh, meditative slow uh, approach as i have been uh, working on kabirvas for some last 3 to 4 years I had painted one of the doors namely dukhme sumiran sab kare sukhme kare na koi sukhme sumiran kare to dukh khaye ko hoye which precisely means if you take the divine name in good times you will pass on the bad times easily by listening to this doha again 
सबकॉन्शियसली आई वॉज रिमाइंडेड ऑफ मीराबाई मीराबाई एंड हर लाइफ इज अ बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल आई फाउंड आउट फॉर दिस दोहा वेल इन शी हैज बीन क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड विद द डिवाइन नेम फ्रॉम हर चाइल्डहुड एंड थ्रू आउट हर लाइफ टू ऑल हर डिफिकल्टीज शी हैव इमर्ज आउट ऑफ ऑल द डिफिकल्टीज ओनली विद द हेल्प ऑफ हिज नेम द डिवाइन नेम दैट इज गोपाल गिरिधर गोपाल so i decided to paint this subject uh, precisely uh, if i have to broadly divide ho- her whole life in her own words appropriately then i'll rearrange her uh, bhajans or stanzas from bhajans for example first uh, i'll arrange her one of her most famous bhajan that is maharani giridhar gopal in which she is submitting um, surrendering herself to giridhar gopal uh, second is uh, one of her stanzas in which she says loka kahe meera bhai maavari which means meera bhai is um, gone mad in love of the divine then i can arrange where she is saying tan man bhet karungi tan man dhan sab bhet karungi subah sham mare grao pritam pyare in which she is saying i will submit surrender everything of mine please come to me Uh, then there is a bhajan namely uh, ramaya bina neend nahi aave bira satave that is a mature age when she is starting missing her uh, divine partner and she is spending her lonely nights and sleepless nights um, then i can quote uh, zeher ka pyala राणा जी ने भेजो वेर हर ब्रदर इन लॉ इज सेंडिंग पॉइजन फॉर हर टू ड्रिंक एंड शी इज एक्सेप्टिंग इट वेरी कामली एंड फाइनल स्टेज आई कैन से वेर शी इज कोटिंग दैट हर क्लोज रिलेटिव आर सेंग दैट शी इज ए कर्स टू होल हर फैमिली दैट इज आप कहे मीरा कुलना सीरे एंड आफ्टर ऑल दिस ट्रबल्स इन हर फाइनल स्टेज वेन आई केम अक्रॉस ए स्टोरी वेर इट इज स्टेटिंग दैट शी वॉज एबस्टेंड फ्रॉम एंटरिंग ए टेम्पल which was created for her and her divine giridhar gopal here i just imagine she is sitting on the stairs of the temple abandoned from entering the temple she is sitting on the stairs and she is fully immersed fully transcended singing his bhajan which can be said tum bin कौन खबर ले गोवर्धन गिरिदारी इन विच गोवर्धन गिरिदारी इज मेन वर्ल्ड बिकॉज यूर आई रिलेटेड गोवर्धन गिरिदारी बिकॉज गोवर्धन गिरिदारी इज ए कैरेक्टर इन विच कृष्णा इज डिपेक्टेड एज लिफ्टिंग ऑफ द गोवर्धन माउंटेन इन हिज लिटिल फिंगर ऑन हिज लिटिल फिंगर सो मीराबाईज calling that giridhari who is govardhan giridhari who has lifted the mountain on his little finger so meera bai is requesting that govardhan giridhari to come and lift up the sorrows the mountain of sorrows 
that has been fallen on her so i have chose this subject to paint
my second painting for this uh, exhibition is on Kabil Das, a mystic weaver poet from 15th century. Uh, I came across this composition of Kabil Das once again through a song. This song I listened is rendered by Pandit Jitendra Abhisheki and even in this composition I felt the actual message that Kabir Daji actually wanted to convey uh, the composition is Rehna Nahi Desh Viran Rehna Nahi Desh Viran Yaha Sansar Kagaj Ki Pudiya Bund Pade Gur Jana Hai Yaha Sansar Kaat Ki Baadi Ulaji Bulaji Mar Jana Hai यह संसार झाड़ और झाकट आग लगे बुर जाना है कहत कबीर सुनो भाई साधु सतगुरु नाम ठिकाना है इन दिस कॉम्पोजिशन कबीर इज ट्राइंग टू कन्वे दैट ही इज फीलिंग फीलिंग लोनली ही इज डिसर्टेड ही इज फीलिंग आउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड एट लास्ट ही इज आल्सो कन्वेइंग दैट द ओनली थिंग दैट इज परमानेंट इन दिस material world is the divine name that's why he's saying Sadguru Naam Tikhana Hai and this is what I am trying to convey through this painting
Thank you.